Student data collection for feedback, reflection, and visualization. A progressive model from single classroom to whole school. Hi, I'm Sean Thompson. I've been a teacher for years and of course I always track student progress. I did a lot with Google Forms and Sheets using things like conditional formatting and using different kinds of charts. Today I'm going to introduce you to a hierarchy of data visualization. One that starts with a simple teacher in a classroom and slowly builds up to more complex and useful data you can collect and then visualize. Uh, you can start on your own, and in the end it ends up with Google Data Studio, which is a way you can manage for an entire school across years. This pyramid is a useful model for considering data visualization from micro to macro. This series of videos offers a brief overview followed by a progressive set of tutorials to take you from theory to practice. You should subscribe and enable notifications to make sure you don't miss any of the updates. As this animation illustrates, this hierarchy can be helpful in planning the development of an ever more comprehensive approach to implementation at your school. From the single teacher advancing through higher levels of usage, all the way to departmental, year level and whole school. Each level of this model can be supported by a Google app like this. Before we start collecting data however, let's review some fundamental points for effective data collection. The better the questions, the better the data. What do you want to know? Refine questions as often as necessary. Keep in mind both teachers and students can learn from the data. Feedback is most effective when students can act on it immediately. Base reflection questions on criteria students are well aware of, like rubrics. Focus feedback on manageable action points, not every single thing. Please check the description where links to tutorials for all levels of implementation will be added every week.